here we go. We're at the neighborhood car show. I haven't even taken a look. We just pulled in. Here's the 34 DeSoto Airflow Brome, the two door coupe. One of only four known to exist. Here's this two door Caprice. So quite a bit different than what you might, might normally find with a uh, Impala, 1970 Caprice. Here's the uh, Fiat. You've had this 40 some years, you said? Yeah, 77. 77, yes. All right, we'll, we'll come back to that. It's a 72 Dino Coupe. Maybe we'll take a look at the engine later. There we go. Really cool car, that's right on Paseo Del Mar. That's how that picture's taken. 84 Alfa Romeo, GTV6. It's got a three liter transplant in it. We got some dog friends there. <laughs> All right, here we go. 71 Z28. This one gets driven and tracked and rallied. It's uh, LT1, it's a screaming car. I've heard it and many times, but maybe we'll hear it later on. Here's Todd and his Ferrari. Is it 2013? 2013? What year? This one, uh, 2005. Or 2005? Okay, I'm not sure how it came up with 2013. 2005. Yes, yes, yes. 430. Mercedes. AMG. Wow, pretty cool. There we go. Classic 911. This will be, uh, what, maybe an 80 or so? Let me guess. 88. Okay. Can't go wrong with that. Went from the SC to the Carrera, so it's a Carrera. <laughs> this car here has been in the family since new. It's a 59, I think a Continental convertible. I think it was the longest car built um, from that era. I think it's something like 18 feet long. We used to have one, it was a 58, but this window is power window here. Of course, power top. Pretty cool. Huge, huge car. <laughs> Big V8. It's like a four, gosh, 460 or something. I, I forget what size. Right, here we go. GT3 911. Oh, yeah. Beautiful color. 2018. Two seventy-five GTB. This has got to be like what sixty-seven? Yep, sixty-seven. Super guy. Look at that. See? Nice. Covered headlights there. The knockoff wheels. Ed's GTB four. That's the quad cam then. Sixty-seven. We'll have to come back to this. Here we go, classic 308. This one here, it's a 78, it's a GTS or S for Spider. I like the red interior a lot. I kind of prefer that over, say, the black. It's common. What do we have here? 740i, nice driving car, aluminum V8, automatic, kind of a deep, deep green color. There we go. Kind of that traditional looking BMW wheel, kind of the basket weave. Here's an 89 Mustang GT. I think I've seen this car before. GT convertible original interior. It's a stick too, it's a five speed. So I'll show 
you the interior if you can see it. It's kind of a plaid, really nice. I like that a lot. Fly yellow, Ferrari 308, is that? Or not 308, um, 360. Yeah, 360. Very nice, hard to go wrong with that. Giving away an engine hoist, it looks like. That's a cool shot. Don't touch that, it's hot. <laughs> nice, Mustang, Fastback. Good color, it's like a deep burgundy. Here's a Shelby, this is John's car. You can find him online, he's got some great videos. Shelby guy, he's got a, well, more than one, let's put it that way. GT350, maybe we'll find him later and get him to talk about this. Carol Shelby signature there. Can't get any better than that. That's super, super clean. I love how much room there is in the engine bay with the small blocks. Lightweight, makes the car really nimble. What do we have here? Another 911, maybe 20 years old. No shame in that. Great driving cars, uh, 2002. Oh, that's Robert's car. Nicely done. It's a 4S. Testarossa. Maybe 88, 89, let's take a look. 88, yep. This is also Robert's, I've been in this one. He has an airport hangar for storage for some of his vehicles. Really cool car. He also uses this for rallies and so forth. I've driven this one, this Roadrunner. I believe this was sold at Barrett Jackson. This car drove great, actually. But it's a Hemi. Let's check this out. This is a 69 Hemi Roadrunner. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a Barrett Jackson. I thought so. Yeah, that's a cool car. It sits up real high though in the front end. Maybe it's um, just the way it's parked. I don't remember it sitting up so high. I think it's just the angle, the way it's parked. It's real simple design, but it works kind of a wolf in sheep's clothing with those wheels. They don't look like much in terms of uh, width. This is cool, Bonneville convertible. It's something out of a 1960s TV show. You can see the father driving this. Very comfortable car. 70, it's a 70 Bonneville convertible. Uh, you don't see those very often. That front end treatment's a little unique. Again, you don't see these at all. Oh, here you go, 69 GTO convertible. It's got the TA radials on there. Looks like triple black, four speed. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool too. Hard to go wrong with that. And we're into some English. Uh, probably like a, I'm gonna guess maybe 70. You can tell the interiors are different than the early model with the uh, rocker switches instead of the toggle switches. I like the toggle switches much better, but it's just the way they did it later on. So what year is this? 68, okay, so first, year of that next generation e-type where do you park it <clears throat> so let's take a look around the other side 
they changed the treatment of the headlights. These would not have the covered headlights uh, starting in 68. And the covered headlights, you can tell, wouldn't work on this because the uh, top of the rim here is too high. But that's by design. I think they raised the height of the headlamps for the um, safety standards, government safety standards. So it's very original. Good looking car. Here we go. I'm very, very familiar with the color of this car. I had one just like this, 66. This is a big block. I like that. Blue on blue. The gold line uh, tires would have been correct up till 66. So this is a 66, yep. And then 67, or you would have had a red line tire. Very cool. So they've got a great turnout here. So here goes the Dino. You have a starter up. So it's a 2.6 liter? 2.4. 2.4. Okay. 246. All right.